Oh, I'm poisoned. I gotta go. Getting about... Let me look at the uh, XP rates here. So that entire trip overall, which was about an hour and it looks to be about 40 minutes. I was getting around a constant 87k experience an hour. Alright, let's go ahead and check this Shaman Casey first. How many have I killed? 5,149 Lizardman Shamans. Crazy. So, yeah, I'm already over the drop rate for that, so. Jeez, my skills are surely going down so fast. Oh my god. Yeah, I was at like 200k, and yeah, we're down already 40k. Jeez. Oh shit, I just hit 97 range. Okay, okay. Looks like I'm gonna get 99 range uh, going for the Warhammer. Honestly. Or a combination of that and Wyvern AFK maybe, but yeah. That's crazy, dude. Well, 97 range is gonna be awesome though, because I can kill the Shamans a little bit faster. Every little increase in efficiency, the blowpipe just multiplies that like crazy because of the speed. But yeah, that's awesome. Oh my god. Okay, brother. There we go. Another shield left half. I don't know how many I've gotten so far from, from these suckers, but hey. We're, we're getting a, a pretty solid collection going on. Damn, 16 Renards that round. And I'm not even done. How much am I going to get? 19, okay. See, this is the result of added seeds and a uh, semi-decent high farming level. The fruits of my labor is certainly paying off now. Oh shit, I actually hit 98 range. Oh my god, dude. I'm going to get 99 range before I get this Warhammer, I swear. What is first? What am I going to get first? 99 range or 99 hit points? Am I actually going to break the tradition of getting 99 hit points first? Like this is all phase one. This this page and and this page, two pages in the in the document. So there's like five X's that well six X's that to mark. So yeah, ninety defense should be no problem because I'm already eighty eight. I can just you know get that really easily. Oh my god! I got the warhammer! Oh my god, dude! What? Holy shit! What the f dude? Oh my god, dude! What the fuck? We were just talking about it too. Holy shit! Wow, that's so crazy, dude. I was just looking at my freaking progress sheet, dude. I didn't even realize. I wish I saw that as it dropped. My god. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, man. Never mind. I don't have to dip into the supplies I was just talking about. That was a bit shorter than I expected. I was ready, dude. But we are done with that now. We are done. That's a nice ass check mark. Clean, clean. Equipment wise, only void left. So that's awesome. Just gotta get these last few skills. Oh, right, I, I totally forgot. I was going to cash in my bones after I got the Warhammer. So I have 21 long bones. All right, let's check out the XP drop, though. It's going to be crazy. Oh, my God, 94K. What the hell? They uh, buffed the XP rates. Wow. What's my con level now? Holy shit, dude. I gained, like, four construction levels, dude. God damn. I used to melee this guy, but honestly, magic is just... <laughs> Does it ever miss? Holy crap, it just doesn't miss. There we go. Easy. And fast quest. What's this? What can I train? Hit points only? Magic and range. I'll just train magic. Ooh, 94 magic. What the hell? Hell yeah, that's awesome, man. I can use um, Ice Barrage. Did not know I was that close. Alright, let's train some thieving real quick. At the plunder. Dragon Slayer last week, so that's already a requirement done. Hey, 61 Thieving, really good. Now I can steal from the 5th floor, so. Yo, there it is, 65 Thieving. Alright, now I can uh, steal from some Menophyte Thugs for my uh, Hard Desert Diary. Yeah, I want to sell me that, yes. Alright, should be able to complete all the easy Hard Diaries. Not gonna lie, I used to kill these desert goats to train my herb alert like way back in the day. Oh my god, nostalgic. There we go, that should be uh, all the medium diaries done too. Okay, alright, onwards to the final one. Not much to do for this hard one. Biggest thing is uh, the kill fight queen that I have to do. That is one kill fight queen exterminated for my first KC at this boss. Might come back here in the future. For some secondaries, uh, mainly winds up Zamis. Six charges on Scepter if I have one. 
You can adjust Camulet to teleport you above the temple. That's so good. Oh, that one's really good. For when I get back to doing some Slayer and stuff, probably. Whenever I want to switch to Ancient Magics, it'll be a lot easier. Uh, Nara or Bliss will create unfinished potions for you. There we go. The one thing that, that I care most about. Alright, the fruits of my labor has finally almost come to fruition. So, 10,000 vials of water. Way more than I need, but future potion making. But yeah, 2,000 plus Eretz. About 900 quorums, uh, 1,000 canadentines, and turn them all into unfinished potions. Hassle-free. Don't have to do this by hand. Feels great, man. That's like half the herbal training time gone right there. There we go. 76 herbler. Now I can make magic potions. Two more to go. Alright, oh, dude. Today is a crazy day. We got the Warhammer a bit ago, and now I'm about to complete another phase one goal and this one took so much uh background grinding to actually complete 70 herbler is now completed and now we can make the strong buchu lee potions which is the revitalization plus the xerxes plus and the prey enhance plus which is going to be super crucial for raids as i will probably have to do a lot of prepping especially in the beginning of the series but anyways let's go ahead and check off this grind shall we here so we are almost done with everything we just need to get two diaries done which i will be working on probably starting tomorrow and we need 90 defense in terms of equipment just the void so in just a few days i should be able to get everything else done and move on to big boy phase two i cannot wait to explain in detail uh, more about this stuff so starting tomorrow, I'll be working on the Western Province Diaries up to hard because I am working on the Pest Control Grind right now. I want to get those done about the same time. So the Western Province Diary will allow me to upgrade the Void Set into Elite Void Set. So some of the hurdles for this diary skills wise is 69 Hunter, catching a Dashing Cabet, 65 Construction to build a South Door Painting in my house, 75 Thieving for pickpocketing the gnomes so I can boost some of these so I probably don't even have to like go for the max levels yet. For the construction grind for the western diaries I'm looking at my supplies that I have right now not counting the loss that can turn into planks I use the source website that I mentioned before to calculate how much XP I have right now which is 74,000 so at my current level 58, it would get me to 61. I can easily boost 4 levels using a saw and a stew. So that's going to be very easy. There we go, hit 59 hunter. Really big level here. Because that is the red salamanders that I'm going to go to to test out. I was getting 60k ish an hour here, but now I can also make new birdhouse traps. So um, I was decided that I'll go do birdhouse runs once I get that. So yeah, really good level here. Let's move on now. Oh my goodness, dude. They actually made this so much better. I remember when this net used to go go the other way, and you just have to like spend more time just to set up that net, so. Red Sarmenders are actually insanely good, even at the base level. I'm getting over 80k an hour. That will beat the Cabet method at any point in time. Like, holy crap. This is really nice. I think a lot has to do with the trap change, because, man... It's just so much easier to set up these three traps. And not to mention, I can do four traps soon. There we go, 60 hunter, four traps at a time. This is gonna go from slightly chill to pretty damn click intensive, that's for sure. There it is, 66 hunter. Ooh, I can wear spottier cave. That's actually pretty good. Four traps, I was getting consistent 90k an hour. And I didn't even have to use energy potions much, only used one the whole time, so really good. 66 thieving. There we go, guys. We're setting our sights for 72 thieving because we're gonna boost that as well. So, yeah. Alright, here we go. The 89 defense onwards to the elite void grind here. 500k. So, getting another one of our skill unlocks here. I'm gonna do the chompy task first. So, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the uh, void range set real quick. Just make sure I get the right items here, and the last one, pants. Alright, so that means I should need 800 points to get the rest of the stuff, uh, the other two helmets and the upgrades, so... 
There we go. That should be easy. Done. Yes. All right. Medium Diaries done. There we go. 50% increase in spawn rate. That's what I'm talking about, man. The last 160 of these suckers are going to be so fast. I'm going to need to boost three times for the remaining tasks for this diary. So it's time to turn this overgrown can into a wild cat. Dang, that was so easy. Just just a simple dialogue and that's it. Yes, plus four hunter boost. Easy. I'm going to make a spot of your cape as well, probably. Plus four construction. Easy as cake. There we go. Yes, that's it. Complete all the hard tasks. Yes, void armor, hunter, master, fill the hills will allow you to hunt in his private chin area. That's amazing. Going to use that a lot in the future. Holy f I'm actually stuck. What the hell? I'm actually stuck. For those of you that are doing a lot of pest control and don't know this tip already, when you get into the boat lobby, you should try to get to the southern part of the boat as fast as possible because that increases your chance of getting to a game. The 89 defense. Oh my goodness. Oh, I hate these guys. They're so glitchy. You see that? Every time the teleporting guys teleport, it teleports everything around it. And it only happens in this room, this side. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to kill this darker. Don't move. Don't move. Yes, we got him. <laughs> 89 experience left. Come on, baby. Yes, 90 defense. There we go. Perfectly timed right before my uh, Elite Void grind is over. So yeah, let's go ahead and mark this off, guys. That's another check. Only two more to go. I have the Void Range Helmet, of course. So let's buy the Void Melee Helmet. And let's buy the Void Mage Helmet. Okay. Yes, please upgrade for me. 200 points to upgrade the top. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes! Oh, there we go. That's awesome. Now I have the Elite Void set for melee. Doesn't change anything for melee though, besides prayer bonus. I get an additional 2.5% range damage and accuracy. And for magic, I get an extra 2.5% damage, which if I stack it with something that gives like another 2% or so, I get another damage using magic. So pretty easy with a uh, Imbuga Cape. Or really anything else, like Ancestral. So many things to mark off right here. There we go. The whole entire equipment list is done for Phase 1. Hell yeah. Very nice. And all that's left is this one one last thing. Candoran Hard Diaries, man. 71 smithing. There we go. Alright, let's just do 3,000 experience use, using Silver Bars. They're surprisingly decent experience. I'm not even kidding yet, man. If you have a lot of extra Silver Ore left behind you, just Blast Furnace it up. There we go, 73 smithing. I think this is where I'm going to stop here because I'll just make some Maddie Darks because I need it for raids and then I'll just boost the rest, you know, using a stew. I got the torso a long time ago and that meant I've killed a few penis queens. So luckily for me, I don't have to do any more barbarian assault. I can just buy the granite, play body and get this Taz done. Oh shit, while well, I'm here buying Dorbin Stouts, let's go ahead and uh get some Marks of Grace out and just turn all this into Amylase. Because I need to make staminas, so whatever. I'll just buy with whatever I got. How much can I get with this? Ooh, ooh, that's so much. Hell yeah. That is uh, 300 stamina potion for doses right there. So plus four boost, easy adamant spear. Oh god. Yeah, we just completed the uh, most annoying part of the Candor Hard Diary, so that was actually quite easy. There we go. Now I have my own personal. Fishing pet in a bowl. Easy done. Medium next. Alright, there we go. Medium diaries done in record time. And all I gotta do is the hard one and we out. There we go. Pretty easy. Kill. Yes! The hard diaries is completed, boys. Yes, boys. We're done. This is it, man. Let's go and get the rewards. And get the hell out of here. Where's the uh, guy? I forgot. Ah, oh, right there. Perfect. Give me all the diary rewards. Thank you very much. Alright, so the three things I want from here, obviously, is the uh, in increase in bolt effects and the Sears uh, teleport and also the 15% more marks of grace, 
Oh, 10% higher uh, yield from Catherby. Okay, make that four things I want. Hell yeah, there it is. Enchanted Bolt use is special attack has increased by 10%. Took a while, you know? I didn't really know how long this would take, but it's time to mark this shit off, man. Everything is about to be checked off. Beautiful, dude. What a, what a clean, clean face wellness right here, dude. Hell yeah, man. We have finally completed phase one, which means that I have a somewhat decent setup and stats to actually start raiding on this account. It's going to be very challenging because I've actually never done raids with uh, such poor setup. But with my previous raids experience, I think we should be able to make it possible. And it's going to be a new challenge for me personally. So I cannot wait to see how far we can progress on one man raid as we perfect the account and make it a true soul raid specialist account in order to be a soul raid specialist account we need to make one man raid pimped out enough to do that so there is 19 more upgrades that i want to make on this account that we will be striving for while we are raiding but we cannot go for these upgrades just yet we can only go for one upgrade every 75 raids so that means in the beginning, these raids are going to be excruciatingly difficult and uh, slowly but surely we'll earn the right to start upgrading our gear one by one, you know, every 75 raids. And then by the end of the 1500 raids, we'll have a truly solo raid specialist account.